Functional skills, mathematics, level two. Question one. Add this information to this cartograph. Complete this cartograph for Lapin. First, we need to complete the scales on both axes. Then we add the information from this table to the graph, which I've done in green crosses. We got five of them. First, the number of posts is 18 and the number of likes is 2,300. The first one, this is where 18 is. We draw a line up and this is where 2,300 is. We draw it to the side and this is where it meets. You do the same thing until you complete the information on this table. It is a positive correlation and both number of likes and number of posts increase every week. C, where to find the mean weekly number. Here, when we're finding the mean weekly number of likes, we add all the numbers together and divide by the number of weeks. That is this done here, divided by five, it gives us 21,265 divided by five. The answer is 4,253. And here, Lepin thinks that the weekly number of likes is more than 4,000. It is actually more than 4,000. And here we're to check our work. We do the inverse of our work in here. And the inverse is 4,253 times five, which gives us 1,265. The inverse of division is multiplication. The next question. The company stocks 240 different products in the ratio of three to two to one. The first thing we need to do is to add all the ratio together. Three plus two plus one is six. Since the company stocks 240 different products, we do 240 divided by six, which is equals to 40. If we come on the new, the ratio for new is three. We do four times three is 120. And for existing is two, ratio is two. We do 40 times two gives us 80. And the ratio for clearance is one. We do 40 times one, it's 40. And um, Laban thinks it stocks 117 new products. Did he really stock 117 new products? From our answer here, we can see that it stock 120. So Laban is not right. Question two. Here is the number of sales for the company. Here we've got three types of product, new, existing, and clearance. And we've got two types of customers. We've got first-time buyer and we've got returning customers. 1A, we're finding the percentage of the first-time buyer who bought new product. Coming back to the table, that is 1,000. 634 customers. So 1,634 out of 2,800. This is how we put it down in writing. That's 1,634 divided by 2,800. Now you multiply it by 100, gives you 58. 36. 
give your answer correct to one decimal place. One decimal place, that is gonna be 0.3. But if we look at six, six is more than five, so we round up. So three is gonna be four. Therefore, the answer is 58.4%. Question three, the company advertises its product in France and the website charge 195 euros per advert. So the company buys five adverts. Since the advert cost 195 euros and the number of adverts bought are five, we do 195 times five, which gives 975 euros. So exchange rate is one pound, of one pound is 1.1025 euros. So we now need to divide by this bigger value, 1.1025 euros. So I've got nine, 175 euros divided by 1.1025 euros that gives us 884 four pounds 35 pence and this actually this question is very very good for us when we are traveling we do love our holidays so before we actually go to borrow the change we can actually know in our exchange rate we can actually know how much we can you know, get if we exchange um, maybe from euro to, to pounds or maybe from US dollars to pounds. Question four. Lawson family want to go to Safari Park and that is the admission prizes this for Safari Park. And here we go, the peak period, and we go off peak period. Then if they buy online, they got 18% of the normal price. Lawson family has two adults, two children over the age of three and one senior citizen. And they visit Safari Park on Sunday. So that is gonna be the peak period. So I will be using the value under the peak period here. And here is a family offer of two children and, two, sorry, two adults and two children. Here, I'm gonna start with the peak period and use the family offer, which costs 56 pounds. So because we got one senior citizen, the individual price for one senior citizen is £13.50. If we add it to £56, we get £69.50. So the discount here is 18%. So what is 18% of £69.50? If you put in your calculator, 18 divided by 100, you get 0 0.18. So 69.50 times 0 0.18 is 12 pound 51. So 69 pound 50, take away 12 pound 51 will give you 56 pound 99. So we need to compare this price to if the ticket was bought individually, not using the family offer. So we got adults, we got adults price for peak period is 17 pound 80. We got two adults times two gives us 35 pound 60. The children is 12 pound 50. If we times it by two children, we got 25 pounds. And one senior citizen is 13 pound 50. The total amount here is £74.10. So we got to apply the 18 pound, 18% sorry, discount. So 18% of 
74.10 is 13.338. At this point, I always love to leave my decimal, all my decimal points if possible. So I do not like to approximate as at this um, stage. So the next thing we do is now to deduct 13.338 from 74.10. So we're left with 60.762. Now we can approximate. So two is less than five. So we got 60. Point sixty pounds seventy six pence. So, since Miss Laws wants to pay as least two as possible, the cheapest price here is fifty six pounds ninety nine. Oh, who doesn't like a good offer? I love a good offer, and I'm sure everyone does. I will definitely go for fifty six pound ninety nine as well. Question five, Lawson family need a plan for their day at the safari park. They arrive 10.30 a.m. and leave no later than 3.30 p.m. And these are the activities they would love to do at the park. Um, the most important thing that cannot be changed here that is fixed you got the lunch time. Your lunch time must be between 12 noon and 1 p.m. It cannot be before 12 and must not be after 1 p.m. And you need to leave at least 10 minutes between each of these activities because you need some time maybe to get from one activity to the other. So here we are asked to design a plan for loss and family. So remember start time and end time is very important here. This is my design for the loss and family. Your plan can be different. We got different designs that we can make. So I start 10.30 and my finish time is 3.05. My lunch time is definitely between, is 12.10 to 12.40, which is between 12 noon and 1 p.m. And between each activity, I've got 10 minutes in between each activities. Question six. At the safari park, Mrs. Lawson sees this offer. Oh, wow, special offer again. A third of the cost of all photographs. We do love our photographs as well. So the normal price is £12.60. So how much is the cost of photograph going to be? What is a third of £12.60? When you put this in your calculator, you do one divided by three, which is going to be in decimal, times eight by 12 pound 60. That gives you four pound 20. So that is the discount. That's a good discount, a good bargain, four pound 20. So you take four pound 20 from the normal price from 12 pound 60. So you're going to pay eight pound 40. And the next question says, show your check. And how do we show our check? We do the inverse of this previous work in here. The inverse of subtraction is addition. So here I do 840 add 420, which gives me the original price, which is 12 pound 60. I can as well use my working at the top here. I can do 
12.20 times three will give me 12.60. Question seven, Lawson family lives 65 miles from the safari park. They will leave the park at 3.30 p.m. Average speed of the journey home will be 50 miles per hour. And they need to arrive home by 4.45 p.m. Will Lawson family be able to make it? Let's see. So the actual hour it should take them is from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. The difference between that is one hour, 15 minutes, which have converted to minutes, which is 75 minutes. Now, if Lawson family lives 55 miles from the safari park, this is 65 miles divided by their average speed of 50 miles per hour. And that is gonna show us the actual time it actually took them to get home. So this is about one hour something minutes. So that is, so how we convert it to minutes we times it by 60 minutes. That gives us 78 minutes. So we can convert it into hour. We can get one hour, 18 minutes from 17, eight minutes. So looking at how many minutes it should actually take them. It's supposed to take them one hour 15 minutes, but it took them one hour, 18 minutes. So we need to add one hour, 18 minutes to the time they were supposed to leave the park. That is 3.30 p.m. Add one hour, 18 minutes. So they will get home at 4.48 p.m. Oh no, unfortunately, they will not be able to arrive home at 4.45. 5 p.m. I think they will have to maybe look at their plan again and adjust something. Question eight. Josh is redesigning the local part. The local. Josh is redesigning the local park. Wow, this is great. So he wants to include three components. So in these three components, the play area will either have a slide or a climbing wall. The water feature will either have a lake or a fountain and the garden will either have roses or trees. We need to design a data collection sheet for um, Josh. Let's remember it needs to be very, very effective. So this is my design. All the resident needs to do is to put a tick. 